Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Illusions Football. Eight box, pick your team, number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. All card ship, a lot of great stuff in there. That encased autograph is one of the one of the highlights of this product. And some sneaky good uh, good old school guys popped in here as well, like guys like Steve Young. So it's a it's a pretty pretty good one. Um also this is from a fresh Master case. So let's pop this baby open here. And we'll use, we'll roll a die and we're going to see if we're going to do the left side or the right side. You can see the top camera right there. There's the left side. And here is. Letter R, you can kind of see it in, in the sunshine glare right there. And R for, for right side. We'll go on the dice roll, one, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Let's see which die. We'll do that Bellagio die right there. It's six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna do the right side. I just had that pen in my hands. All right, so here is the left side case, and that's going to be for Pick Your Team 6, which is in the store now. I think this is our last um, Illusions case for the time being. I didn't see any more in the back. So we'll probably be able to get to that tonight. Thanks, Rodney. It's a good turn of phrase for a baseball break. All right, let's slide this back over this way so I can put all the cards into its proper spot. We can flip this camera angle right back to the desk and get a sky cam view. Now let's pop open. Case R. All right, so big thanks to all of these people right here for getting into the break. We really appreciate it. Eight box, enter case, pick your team five. Thanks for spending your Friday the 13th with us and trying your luck here. And there you go, Matt Arnold with that last spot mojo star next to his name. Last spot mojo, 60% of the time, hits 100% of the time. He's got my Raiders too. We have a few number block teams, four number block teams right here to be precise. All right, so it works just like our number block breaks, but only for those teams and only for that particular case right there. Good luck. That This has been uploaded in a, did I upload that in a separate video? I did. So that's... Uploaded in a separate video if you want to watch the results of that. Make myself a little room here. Let's put this page right here. All right, settle in, folks. Good luck. Biggest threat to the Chiefs in the AFC, the Raiders. I'll take that. And man, the NFC West is is 
It's pretty loaded. Ryan Clark saying big start to the Seahawks in the NFC West. Rams. If the Rams can beat the Seahawks, this one that makes that division really interesting. Well, come right down to the wire. All right, there's A.J. Dillon to 199. We'll sleeve and top load all of these later. There's just way too many in here, just in the interest of time. There's Brandon Ayuk, instant impact, going to Mark and the Niners. There's Julian Edelman to 399. We've got a Clyde Edwards E. Lair here. That'll be for the Chiefs. That's going to go to Riley. And then we got Kyle Long. 16 out of 99. Superlatives autograph for the Bears. Gabriel with Chicago. Chicago has an interesting matchup. I think they're hosting. The Vikings, I want to say. Should have had my ESPN NFL scoreboard up. Yeah, I think they're short home dogs against the Vikings. There's our first Joe Burrow, 76 out of 299. And Corey got the Bengals straight up. Nice Mystique Acetate card. I think these look pretty sharp. Yeah, David saying Vikings always struggle in Chicago. In general, I do kind of like the home, the short home dog. I think it's, can generally be a fun play. I want to say that the the Bears do do better as a dog than they would as a as a favorite for some reason. Joe Burrow again, this time numbered. 242 out of 399. Joey B. Another one for Corey. Oh, and David is David T is a Vikings fan. That's how he knows that the Vikings struggle in Chicago. There's instant impact. KJ Hamler, Denver, Eric Gonzalez. And is there anything to to that uh Kirk Cousins in prime time? I feel like he won in prime time last year and kind of got that monkey off his back. But I feel like that's it's a thing for some reason for him. Whether it's his fault or not. Jared Goff to one to four ninety nine. Whether it's actually Kirk Cousins' fault or not, he seems seems to struggle in prime time. There's immortalized jersey and auto. That's a Bernie Kozar. Four out of 35. Hmm. Wow, is Kirk Cousins 0-9 in Monday Night Football? Come on, Kirk. I don't like that. Browns are like this, though. Glenn with the Browns. Our Mike is saying, yeah, the Vikes. The Bears head coach, man. I just, oh, yeah, just I saw that on the ticker. Gave up play-calling duties. So... How did that? How did that happen? I saw. I saw that in the back too. Yeah. That I didn't. I didn't open that case. Maybe. Maybe it came open loose like loose boxes like that. Yeah, but Which there's kind of weird. There's only four. Isn't there five? In no. In baseball, there's four. So it came, it came loose. Yeah. So okay. So I'll let people. I'll, okay. I'll let people know about that. And that's it. And the second one is there another illusions case? There's another illusions. That's for you. Master case. That I just opened. No, there's another one. I didn't see another master case. Hang on a second, folks. Let me figure out this. Yeah.
All right. Sorry, folks. Uh, we had to kind of figure this out. Public service announcement that NT Baseball that's on the site right now are from four loose boxes. I think that's how our distributor sent it to us. I don't think anyone would have opened that case here. So if that changes things for you, please uh, let us know. Hit that support button, and uh, and you can request a refund or let me know, and I can take your name out, resell that spot, and and then eventually our customer service team will get you your refund either tonight or at the latest tomorrow morning. So if that makes if that's a big difference for you, um, definitely let me know. I'm gonna write it in the in the thing too. do that sorry about the delay folks um all right so i'm going to flip screens just for a second we're going to keep that right there so there's the note about hit parade baseball which was delayed by ups and then there's the note about nt baseball um they're not from the same case they're four loose boxes i guess we weren't i guess we were not aware of that when we posted it so apologies if that changes your mind about the break definitely let us know and we can uh we can take your name out of the break and refund you. All right. We got Michael Pittman Jr. is our encased autograph. 23 out of 50 for the Colts. That'll be for Carey. Had a pretty, I think he had a pretty good game yesterday. Saw him make a lot of big plays. No, TJ's going to stand. All right, thanks, TJ. I, I don't know if it... I don't know. It's just people like to know whether it's from a fresh case. I don't know if it makes a huge... I don't think there's like traditional case hits. If there was a traditional case hit, I think that would be, you know, like if it's a guaranteed one of this per case, I think it would make a bigger difference. Some people like knowing it's from a fresh case. You're right, TJ. If it's loose box, it could actually be advantageous for us, you know, because let's say you, you were opening up a fresh case and there's one bat barrel, right? And we're like, oh, well, the chances of a bat barrel being in the other three boxes become slim to none. With these loose boxes, you know, those could have come from anywhere. So, I don't know. That could be good or bad, but if, if that bothers you, then that's no big deal. You can ask out of the break. Not a big deal at all. So just let me know before we start the break. Once it starts, then it's too late. Uh, Philip, what's going on? Where, When are the new box breaks available on the site? Um, there's no set time. It just goes up on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Who knows when it goes up, but it's different times throughout throughout the day. If you um, if you register for our website on jazbeescasebreaks.com, I think you'll be automatically added to our email list. And um, I think we send out an email blast when new product goes up. There's Joe Montana, two ninety nine. Danny, you just got a notification that the new Mandalorian episode is out. You know, on the West Coast, it actually comes out like at just after midnight on the West Coast. I guess on Thursday, no, technically Friday, early Friday morning, but Thursday night. There's Cam Akers for the Rams. That's not numbered, so that'll be part of the non-numbered group. So I watched it last night, like at 1230. 
There's Josh Allen. Oh, another Clyde Edwards Elair. It's pretty good. It's fit, the not not just I, I know some people may not have seen the Mandalorian episode yet, but I'm a big Star Wars fan. There's Josh Jacobs to 199. And it was another solid episode, but it's just it's just we're seeing a lot of setup, I think, in the first three episodes. Ooh, there's Jake from State Farm. 106 out of 299. That's for Craig and the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! Vanilla Gorilla is eager to get people to to get into the uh, Immaculate Basketball. Well, even if that filled tonight, Vanilla, we'd have to wait until the 18th anyway. It doesn't come out until next Wednesday. Justin Herbert, our first Herb, going to the Chargers. That'll be for Corey. Darrington Evans to 399. But I appreciate your enthusiasm. There's a base Joe Burrow for the Bengals, also for Corey. Yeah, Immaculate is not is not cheap, I'm afraid. But a lot of great stuff in there. Denzel Mims, instant impact for the Jets. That'll be for Jerry Bennington. Bennington, Benny, and the Jets. Doom, 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 doom. <laughs> That's ex Danny, you, you know me well. That's exactly what was happening. Uh, we actually got out of the uh, out of the shop a little late last night. We were kind of busy. Had to put a lot of stuff away. Bengals, Corey, and then what did I do? I uh, got some gas for my for my motor car. It's Philip Rivers to fifty. I think I actually bought it. I need to get um, some Jameson. Oh, there's T.J. Husmanzada. Remember him? Seventy-eight out of ninety-nine. Bangles, that'll be for Corey. TJ probably remembers TJ Husmanzada. How many TJs are in the NFL? There was TJ Husmanzada, TJ Hawkinson. Are those your? Are those the most recognizable TJs in in football in recent memory? The Teddy Bridgewater to one ninety nine. Tom Brady going to the Bucks. Josh Filo. But yeah, Danny, that's exactly what I did. We uh, got some gas, picked up some booze, and uh, got home, got into my sleepy time clothes, and poured myself uh, a beverage or two. I enjoyed some, uh, enjoyed some Star Wars, Mandalorian. 31 out of 75, DeAndre Swift, Lions, carry with some cat team mojo. <laughs> nice, TJ used to draft TJ Usman's out of, just, just for the name. I think I would too. I think I would too. Oh, TJ, you see that Kimming? Is a GM for the for the Marlins. I don't know if you've had any interaction with her, but she was in the Dodgers organization for for a little while. How many fantasy teams were named TJ Who's Your Mama back when he was playing? I'm sure a fair amount. There's Saquon Barkley to 199. We've got a Mystique Joe Burrow and a Darrington Evans to 399. And Drew Brees. That pile right there. Another Joe Burrow. I'm sure all of these add up for Corey and the Bengals.
four guys to win four championships. In 1961, he was a league MVP. Justin Jefferson, instant impact. He's making a pretty good impact for the Vikings. Riley with Minnesota. A tough matchup for them in Chicago. Although Dalvin Cook's just been just destroying it. I mean, even, the, even that Bears defense, how long can they last against Dalvin Cook running the rock? There's Kenneth Murray, 65 out of 99 rookie signs for the Chargers. I was making fun of Sean Jaspi the other day because uh, I thought that it was Kenneth Murray that Derek Carr hurtled over. It was not. It was someone else. It was a Charger safety. Anyway, my apologies to Kenneth Murray. That goes to, uh, he did not get leapfrogged by a quarterback. Corey with the Bolts. Their shining star. We got Justin Herbert. Base card for the Bolts. So another one for Corey. My first half rookie of the year, probably this guy, no? I mean, I know he, has, he hasn't... No, he's played... I guess he's played most of the games, right? Yeah. It's Keenan Allen, Jerry Rice, John Elway, highlight relic for Denver. That's going to be for Eric. I mean, I don't know who else has been really killing it. I think Clyde Edwards-Hilaire has been pretty solid, but but maybe not offensive rookie of the year level. Joe Burrow's been putting up some decent numbers, but not as big as not as big as uh, Herbert, I think. I think. I don't know who else. Our Mike agrees with the Herbert. Are, are there any other rookies that I, offensive rookies that I'm missing? Defense is hard to tell. I couldn't name you a defensive player. But Justin Jefferson, I feel like, if he maybe played... I don't know, receivers take a little bit of time to bet in, I think. But I feel like if, if he was he, if he started doing what he did from week one, Justin Jefferson would be in the conversation. C.D. Lamb looked interesting until, um, until poor Dak Prescott went down. Redemption? LaMichael Piran, Jets. That'll be for Jerry Bennington. Benny and the Jets. I actually have a green pen for the Jets right here too. And a free top loader. But I don't know. Does Joe Burrow get extra extra points, so to speak, for the offensive rookie of the year cat? Because he's just playing... I think that team's that offensive line's got to be worse than the Chargers offensive line. I think Chargers have a decent offensive line. There's Troy Aikman. Wow, clear shots autograph for Dallas. That's going to be for Josh. That's 9 out of 10. El Canon. It's not, not bad. I've heard of him. This illusion is sneaky good. Oh, and also, here's some good news. Uh, there's, an, we've, I, there's another master case of illusions that was delivered to us. So um, after break six, well, I don't know. We might even post that early. But, but anyway, after the second inner case here, there'll be, uh, there'll be another master case. Because I saw, I saw at least one back there. And I think there was a... Um, just in just an inner case that was sent to us. So our breaks will be out of a master case. But I think Teddy on Instagram Live at Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram Live has more illusions from a uh, from a single inner case. So if you're into that, into some personal boxes, you can check that out as well. We've got a quick two box basketball break to do after this. This break's going to take another 20 minutes or so anyway. But we got a, another quick basketball break after this and then we'll go through some more orders. I see about 22, almost a couple dozen orders 
in. So we'll see what else. I know a couple other things have sold out. So we'll see what has sold out, added to the schedule, and continue breaking. There will be late night tonight as well. Oh yeah, speaking of football, Paul, Paul Horning passed away. Um, Carey with the Colts. Old uh, Packers legend. Patrick Mahomes. Alvin Kamara to 299. And another, Kenneth Murray. 66 out of 99 this time. Rookie signs for Corey and the Bolts. Mahomes. Tannehill to 199. Tannehill rookie cards going up? In the last couple of years, he's been playing some excellent football. You know, quarterbacks generally do pretty well in the secondary market. I wonder if his rookie cards have seen an up, a clear uptick. Jerry Judy to 299. I would imagine so. Philip Rivers and Justin Herbert. Rookie Idols Duel. Two color dual relic. Corey and the Chargers. Nice. Joe, well, Joseph is asking, will we do Pokemon? As much as I love Pokemon, I don't think you'll find a group break on here anytime soon. However, if you go to Instagram Live. I think we do have a selection of Pokemon that we sell on our personal, on the personal break side. At Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram. On a different website as well. So we do have Pokemon there. There's Justin Herbert. And there's a Tua. Sorry, I can't, can't, can't self-promote. So if I let you do it, then everyone's going to want to do it. Joe Burrow to 399, Cincinnati. That goes to Corey. And John with the Dolphins gets the Tua. The values of trading cards are, Mike, I, I think generally people look on a, a major secondary market. E eBay. And the redemption, T. Higgins for Cincinnati. That'll be for Corey. I'm waiting for eBay to sponsor us before we start saying that that's the secondary market. But <laughs> generally... We just look at sold items there, and that's how you get a general idea. A site that we're uh, not affiliated with, but we do use frequently, is 130.point.com. And if you click search eBay sales in the top left right there, that kind of organizes previously sold items pretty nicely. We generally go by that to get ideas of, of value. And we got Deontay Johnson, nice. 32 out of 75. Michael Gallucci, of course, with the Steelers. All right, halfway through this break, here's the second half. I think the, the, tr the hard part, though, is some t if, if, if you find a card that hasn't been listed um, in recent, in like the last maybe three months or however long we can see sold items. That gets a little tricky. But usually for, for relatively popular cards, you should be able to, to find recent examples of, of, of recent sales.
three months look back? Yeah, so you got three months. But generally, some of the more popular popular uh, cards, you'll see them sold relatively often. I, th I want to say that the 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 idea of the idea of like sports card investing I think has become a bigger a, a big thing so I think there are a number of websites I think there are a number of kind of card investing channels or sites that you can probably look up that maybe track that maybe track values a little bit more closely if you're into that sort of thing there's Tyler Johnson to 499. There's Baker Mayfield to 499. I think there are a number of people that kind of do that nowadays. There's a whole. There's two of right, another two of. There's a whole other uh, cottage industry that has kind of developed around the sort of investment of cards and people who track Tua prices and and box illusions box prices and stuff like that. So it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty great. There's Instant Impact, Lavisca Chenault Jr., Jags are a number block team, but it's not numbered. So it's part of that non-numbered group. Everyone in that non-numbered group, or in that number block group, has a shot at those. Here's Keenan Allen to 149. Yeah, Beckett, there's there's out of 50 James Conner. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Beckett, I think, has, yeah, I don't actually, do they use eBay for a lot of their pricing? Mark Gasnow, yeah, Beckett has kind of fallen off in terms of uh, of people using that for uh, for values of cards. There's Mark Gasnow to the 75 going to Jerry Bennington and the Jets. Patrick Mahomes to 299. Although it'd be cool to see like there's Dalvin Cook, he's been killing it. Um, I would like to see Beckett get back into that pricing game, though. You know, I think, I mean, they, they've got the history behind them. You know, I'm sure they, got, they could get some knowledgeable guys in on the action. Right? To maybe, to maybe kind of, you know, aggregate a lot of the different values of, of, of different sales sites and then come up with like an average Beckett value or something like that. Something they can do on a website or something like that. And then there's Cam Akers, also not numbered. I think that'd be cool if they kind of get back into the, the pricing game. Yeah, we do ship internationally. But outside of, uh, outside of Canada, there is a, a charge. I forget what our shipping, international shipping charge is. Seven or eight bucks, I think, American dollars. Justin Herbert, and and all international cu customers are responsible for their uh, for any taxes, and customs and stuff like that. Which, if you're buying into expensive breaks, they could be, they they could potentially be, pretty high. Maybe even higher than the value of the cards themselves. So that's just a risk that you have to accept. Seven out of thirty-five. Another Bernie Kosar for Glenn, and the Browns. So we do, but it's a. Uh, Kind of difficult for the international customers, I think. Yeah, what's going on with that? Where, where are my Raiders in this case? There's a Brian Sight for the Cleveland Browns. And that'll be for the Browns. That's another one for Glenn. I think there was like well, there was a Raider earlier, but it was just it was just one thing towards towards the beginning of the break. I don't know. We still got three in case autographs to go. Plenty of time left. All it, a lot of times in these group breaks, all it takes is one to turn entire break around. Turn the break around.
the goalie way out there. Yeah, see, like, yeah, exactly. I like that Aikman. All it takes is one. luck. Here we go. Dalvin Cook to 50. Justin Herbert. Emmett Smith, living legends. Wait, a golf ball got stuck in a tree and this guy threw a shoe at the tree and got, got the ball in oh, the tree. That's kind of awesome. Another Justin Herbert. James Conner to 399. Joe Thomas, living legend, to 399. Behind Zach Moss is a trio of Chargers. Dan Fouts, Phillip Rivers, and Justin Herbert lineage. Could Justin Herbert be better than both of these guys? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Tom Brady to four ninety nine. Chase Claypool, first impressions jersey and auto. Nice. Thirty one out of two ninety nine. Michael Gallucci and his Steelers. I mean, does does this guy have a chance? I feel like the offensive rookie of the year often goes to a quarter, usually a quarterback, right? And then it's a running back. But this guy, this guy could get some, uh, get some votes. So half a season left. You know, it goes on another touchdown catching spree. There's Darrington Evans for the Titans to Austin to 199. Van Jefferson, instant impact. Bunch of instant impact relics for that non-numbered group over there. Be randomized to one person in that number block group. It's Clyde Edwards Elaire, C D Lamb to three ninety nine. And a pink Tua to three ninety nine. And another Miami Dolphin. We've got a couple dolphins here for John Deneen. We've got Noah Igbino Gehi, seventy nine out of ninety nine, rookie signs, autograph. Then we got the pink Tua right here. Mystique Pink. Kind of a sharp looking parallel. 293 out of 3.99. Here's the Brady Living Legends. And the Clyde Edwards Lair will go to Riley. And the encased card is going to be a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption while I open up this box for bragging rights? Tua? That would make John very happy. Emmett Smith, that would make El Canon. El Canon guessing Emmett Smith, that would make himself very happy. DK Metcalf, says Phillips. Or CD Lamb. Sorry, Nick Bosa. All right. It's going to be Chase Young. Rookie Vision signatures. 
Chase Young going to the Washington football team. That'll be for Mark Mazur. And you got, looks like you got a free magnetic to go along with that as well. All right. Next one. Yeah, I think it's two E's in C and D. It's Kirk Cousins. You like that? Oh, sorry. Kirk Cousins. All right. Joe Burrow. Another Joe Burrow for... Uh, Corey and the Bengals. Behind Odell Beckham Jr. is a Lamar Jackson highlight relic. Ravens. Ravens are a number block team. Are you numbered? I don't think this is numbered. It's not. Another card in the non numbered group there is Tom Brady to 299. Garoppolo to 399. Clear shots, Drew Brees. Tom Brady again. Devin Duvernay. Three color patch and autograph. That's out of 99, and it's eight out of 99. Baltimore, eight. That's going to be for Dan. There you go, our first number in the number block group. More Justin Herbert. Oh, I think Gary, Gary guessing T. Higgins, I think. Someone let Gary know that he is lagging behind by about a few minutes. Make sure you hit that live button, folks, so you know that you are at the most current point in the stream. 399 J.K. Dobbins. And another J.K. Dobbins, Instant Impact. Oh, and that's another relic for the non-numbered pile right there. I think if you refresh your page or app or hit the live button, if you're watching in a browser, it should bring you back live. Although YouTube was acting weird yesterday towards the end of the night and was kicking people's chats back or they were seeing a little spinny button a lot. All right, and we've got a not well. There's a Lamar Jackson to 149, and the uh, rookie signs 79 to 199 is Isaiah Hodgins. Buffalo, Craig, and the Bills. Another Tua. There's a Chase Young. We just saw his autograph redemption. Remember how much the Seahawks were in this? And I'm curious, 60, 70 bucks? 90 bucks? More, less? 30 bucks? I don't know. I think a lot of times they've been thrown into a number block. I don't know. Probably like 50, 60 bucks, somewhere around there. 50 to 70 dollars. All right. And next autograph is Carl Banks. Five out of 10. Pioneer penmanship. Old giant. Going out to Diego. And the New York Football Giants. And here is the last box, everybody. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Appreciate it.
I'll do a quick little recap too of these hits here to my left. And then we'll do that, we'll run that randomizer as well. Russell Wilson, Julian Edelman to 199, Shining Stars, Khalil Mack to 399. And we got Dwayne Haskins, one of one Nike wow. swoosh. Woo! That's pretty nice for Mark Mazur and the Washington football team. Nice one, Mark. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! I set that aside for picture time, too. Nice. Oh. Who's it? We'll use it. Yeah. Sorry. This pen right here. Boom. There you go. Man. Signing autographs in the middle of this break. It's the price of fame, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> price of fame. We got Gabriel Davis, jersey and autograph, 241 out of 299 for the Bills. Buffalo! Craig Barney and the Buffalo Bills. Got Shining Stars. George Kittle to 299. Dak Prescott to 99. Joe Burrow to 399. Instant Impact Jacob Eason for the Colts. Carry and the Colts. The Blue Horseshoes had a nice game yesterday. Some special teams help as well. Joe Burrow, more for Corey. Tom Brady, Teddy Bridgewater to 399. And oh, another redemption. Any guesses there? So there's LaVisca Chenault Jr., 260 to 299. Josh Jacobs to 499. Joe Montana, clear shots. Taysom Hill and Ezekiel Elliott. The redemption is going to be. It's Joe Reed, rookie signs blue, Joe Reed. I forget where Joe Reed goes. I think that's the first Joe Reed redemption that I've ever seen, to be honest with you. Uh, he's a wide receiver for the uh, and return specialist for the Chargers. The Bolts, that's going to go to Corey. All right, and it <laughs> could have been Henry Owens, though, I mean. And the next, the last one here is Mystique Autograph, Jordan Love. We love it. Six out of ten. Nice low number on that. Ryan Harold, Green Bay Packers. Last card there, right at the very, 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 very end. All right, we're gonna do that recap in just a second, but first we gotta do the randomizer for these non-numbered cards right here. And I'm sure there may be some more in the, in the base cards, and I'm sure there are some numbered cards that go here as well, but those our shipping team will sort that out for you. But let's go back to the list. Let's go back to the number block tab. Let's grab everybody's names there. And everyone there will get a shot at it. Name on top after 10, four and a six, 10 times. Name on top will get the non-numbered cards. One, two, three.
And 10th and final time. After 10 times, it goes to Gary. There you go, Gary. Uh, you'll get these uh, handful of relics here. Most, mostly rams, I think. All right. And now, the recap. So a lot of a lot of nice stuff here. We've got the second half of this master case in the store right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. If you want to check that out, that was T Higgins there. LaMichael P Ryan. A couple of Bernie Kozars in this. Some numbered Joe Burrows were pretty nice too. And of course that Dwayne Haskins Nike swoosh one of one. He still may have a shot in Washington or maybe a change of scenery will do him good. Maybe marinate behind a quarterback for a little bit and, uh, and see what happens. Could be interesting. There's the nice Jordan Love. Carl Banks. Chase Young, Brian Seip, Deontay Johnson, nice Troy Aikman clear shots, DeAndre Swift, and Michael Pittman Jr. red ink autograph. And there you go. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was Illusions. Pick your team number five. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.